Good people of YouTube, my name is Spannerwell. I mean, my name is Revan. Yes, last time we discovered our identity is former Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Revan. Our memory was wiped and we are now face to face with our former apprentice, Darth Malak. So let's continue this, shall we? It's time for a one-on-one -on -one duel. Let's get some force resistance going, and some armor, and some speed. Okay, let's get him. Wow. That was easy. Stop and face me, Malak. Oh, it's locked. Speed, Valor, Resistance. Also locked, come on. One attack. That was amazing. This isn't over, Malak. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. For the Jedi! I'm pretty sure I just defeated you twice. I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Star Forge. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! I just defeated him twice. The door sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. What about Bastila? We have to help her. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on. Guess we're going this way. To the hangar bay. Well, I guess that's over with. Goodbye, Bastila. I mean, I could have taken Malak on again. Wasn't that hard. Seriously? We're under attack by... Sith fighters? Yes. Got him. Got that one too, only one left. Okay, Karth, take us away. Where are we going exactly? Are we still en route to, to Corriban? Where is Bastila? What happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's 
She's dead? Ah, Malik won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side, and the Sith will always be victorious. We have to go back for Bastila. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malik said, or should I? I'll tell them. I'm... I'm Darth Revan. Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Karath told me on the Leviathan, and Bastila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big. Do you... do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Small bits, a few strange dreams and visions, that's all. Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. But I'm not the Dark Lord anymore. I'm Spanner. I'm one of you. I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malak's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. <laughs> I agree with mission. I saw a life dead to the person you are, not to the person you were. Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? How about you, Julie? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. What do you think, Andrus? You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. What do you have to say, HK47? Commentary. I am experiencing something unusual, Master. Why? What's happening? Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a, a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Your homing system? What's that? Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols, that which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original master. You mean... Revan? Affirmation. Correct, master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned to and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. Well, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Observation. Indeed. I do hope we shall have the chance to engage in combat together again soon, Master. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. You won't abandon me, will you, T3? I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. Well, Karth, will you stand with me against Malak? Well, the others seem to trust you. And I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I really don't have any other choice, do I? 
I won't let you down, Karth. I promise. I want to believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. You have to try, for Basilis' sake. This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're gonna find that Star Forge and save Basila, so let's do it before it's too late. Are we still going to Corriban? Don't I need to input some coordinates? Oh, I guess we are. And here's a dream. Okay, I guess we're in Corban. Hey there, Karth. What do you need? Do you want to talk? Talk about what? The only Okay, same conversations. All right. Let's see. I think we're bringing Juhani and Candorus for now. Still need to do Candorus's quest. What is it? And I believe Juhani's will be here, if I'm not mistaken. Seriously, why do all my companions have weird stat lines. I mean, the one warrior has a bunch of dexterity. Got an implant. Or weapon focus lightsaber. That's pretty nice too. Yeah, my one warrior has a bunch of dexterity, uh, my... All the other guys that have, um, that use range, all the other warriors that use ranged weapons have a bunch of strength for some reason. So unless I fail to see the obvious here, I don't really like the, the way they're built. Juhani should have a lot more strength, perhaps. And Candorus, we just used him. Sure. Hmm. Zerka guards. Who are you? Greetings, human. A word, if I may. It concerns the Dark Lord of the Sith. You mean Malak? No, human, I mean the true Lord of the Sith. I am speaking of Darth Revan, of you. How do you know who I am? Listen to me and all will be made clear. My name is... Zyogrom. I am a businessman. I and my partner deal in rare items of extraordinary value and power. You're with the exchange. 
No, we are not. We are independent co operators, though often our transactions involve those who represent the exchange. Traditionally, we have always done business with the owner of the Ebonhawk, Devik Kang, most recently, Ahita Othar before him, Fori Haxa before her, but we were reluctant to approach you. You had no ties to the exchange, which was a problem. Even worse, you were a Jedi. Not the sort of person we normally associate with. Get to the point, how do you know my true identity? There were reports of the Ebon Hawk traveling to many different planets. We wanted to know what you were up to. At your last port, I placed a small tracking device on your ship. The tracking device reported back to us that you had been captured by the Leviathan. Once we had that information, we began digging into our sources within the Sith fleet. Sources? What sources? There are millions of soldiers in the Sith fleet. Surely you aren't surprised that some of them will sell information? Even high-ranking officers aren't, Im aren't immune to the lure of easy credits. Your escapades on the Leviathan created quite a stir in the Sith fleet. Of course, Malak tried to suppress the truth about your identity. There were more than a few summer summary executions. But even if security footage is destroyed and witnesses silenced, some bits of information always slip through. Spend enough credits to gather the tiny pieces and the puzzle becomes clear. We know what happened on the Leviathan, at least we know enough. You are Darth Revan and you are going to kill Malak for daring to claim dominion over the Sith. How does this involve you? My partner and I deal in very rare and powerful items, weapons, armor, things you could use in your battles against Malak and the Sith. And you're just going to give these items to me? I don't carry these items with me, of course, they're with my partner, but they're yours if you've got the credits to buy them. We do want to make a profit on this, after all. Just go to the cantina here in Dreshde. There's a Rodian there named Mika Dorin. Tell Mika that Zyagrom sent you to look at the premium items. I'll go check it out. Mika already knows to expect you. Like I said, just tell him you want to look at the premium items. I guess my work here is done. Goodbye, Revan, and once Malak is beaten, don't forget to help you to victory. Okay, I'm always up for premium items. Ah, I see, I see, another Jedi come to small Corbin, yes? Good to meet you. How do you know I'm a Jedi? Well, um, from the lightsaber you are carrying naturally, only Jedi carry ones like that, correct? There are many people who come to Corbin from throughout Sith space hoping to join the Academy. Some of them are Jedi who have left the Order. You will get into the Academy for certain. I understand Jedi who have left the light side are made very welcome. So I imagine. But enough about that. It is very nice to see that the Ebon Hawk has returned. I have not seen that ship for some time indeed. 
Since you're a regular to our little colony, the docking fee is only 25 credits. That's not really necessary, is it? I suppose there is no need to charge the owner of the Ebonhawk any fee, really. I'll open the door for you. I'll be on my way. Enjoy your stay in Dresh Day. What's going on here? No, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? Please, Master Shardan, give us a chance. We'll do anything to get into the academy. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Thank you, Shardan. We, uh, we understand now. No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy, the other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should... Uh, hmm. You, Jedi, you're looking to get in the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or forced lightning, yes, it's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. Why? What did they do? We didn't do anything. Please, help us. Silence. It's not what they did so much as what they didn't do, which is prove themselves worthy. I'm exhausted from dealing with their mewlings, so please decide for me, will you? Let them go. That's my decision. Let them go? And what could possibly convince me to do that? They aren't worth your time. I suppose not, but you're as boring as they are. Fine, fine, go on, all of you. Hopefully you've learned something here. Oh, I seem to have... Hmm. I know, I remember reading something a long time ago that you can only go full light or full dark af after the Leviathan or something. Yeah, it's definitely starting starting to show. Je ah, I think this is the guy I'm supposed to meet. For Candorus' quest. We're in the wrong place. I was not here. I was already inside. It has been quite a long time. Joggy? Do you know him, Candrus? He... he was a warrior under my command up to the Battle of Althir. But I thought... You thought I was dead, didn't you? You thought all of us that you had set on that attack had perished. You sent us to die in a foolish attack, while you directed your forces elsewhere. You broke from the battle plan and let us die for it, so that you could have the honor of being the first to kill the enemy commander. Is this true, Kandras? I... I did what was prudent at the time. If I had not done it, the battle would have... The battle would have been won anyway. I am tired of your excuses, Kandras. I have spent years tracking you down since the clans were banished, and I will not rest until I've had my vengeance. What are you going to do? I challenge you, Kandras. I challenge you to fight the fight you fled that day above Althir, in the doomed seas of Tatooine. I will be waiting for you. 
I have spread the news of the challenge since I learned you had landed on this world. All the surviving Mandalorian clans know of what I do here, and that we shall meet on Tatooine to settle this debt of vengeance once and for all. If you fail to meet me there, you shall be stripped of all honor and forever cast out of our society. It will be you and me alone in the dune seas of Tatooine. A final battle that can only end in death. I shall be waiting for you there, Kendris. Okay. Again, I was not there. I had already turned this corner. Hey there, Bree. Greetings, say, aren't you the one who won that super race on Manan? I'm a big fan. I hope we can find something suited to a celebrity like you. Is there anything you'd like? What sort of merchandise do you offer? Weapons mostly. I've got connections. You'll need them if you're going to be spending any time here. What sort? Uh, why so? There are a lot of Sith on this planet. This is, this is where they came to study. Obnoxious brats, a lot of them. Just between you and me, I'll never understand why everyone thinks Darkseid and Hooligan should be the same thing. But they are definitely dangerous, so that's why you'll probably need weapons. Ha, not that there'll be much help. What connections do you have? Mandalorian raiders occasionally drop by, needing to get rid of some extras that they can't sell in the civilized systems. They treat me well, I treat them well, it works out. So if you need weapons, and you probably will, this is the place to come. Can I see your merchandise? Certainly. Allow me to punch up the stock. Okay, Craft War Blades, Cassis Fat. Wow, 10,000 credits. Well, just weapons. Uh, let's sell a bunch of stuff. Don't need that, don't need this. Well, I could have given that trope to Juhani. Oh well, doesn't really matter. You can sell this, these. Sell a bunch of short swords. These regular lightsabers. Um, Okay, the price is the same. Pretty sure this yellow one is Bastilus. Let's keep a short one. Keep the crystals. I don't need regular blaster pistols. I might give this to someone who uses blasters. Tech modifier plus one. This one has stun. Okay, I'm gonna try to disrupt the rifle. I have a bunch of grenades here. Good sell. I don't use any mines. It's time to get rid of the mine collection. Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony, led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before. Have you? I hate Jedi, and these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. You should turn around and move along, kid. You don't want the trouble we give you. <laughs> smart mouth newcomers to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashow. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? 
You can try to kill me. You'd fail, but you can try. Those are very brave words for such an insignificant person. Do you not realize how many Sith are here in Dreshde? Not enough to save your sorry self. Let me kill this one, Lasho. Let me do it. Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. Hmm. Should we tell a joke? Okay, these two Mandalorians are out in the woods. Go on. One of them collapses. He doesn't seem to be breathing and his eyes are glazed. The other Mandalorian takes out his communicator and contacts his commander. I've heard this one before. I think... Quiet! He gasps. My partner has collapsed. I don't know what to do. After a moment, the commander responds. Calm down, I can help. And then... First, let's make sure your partner is dead. There is a silence, then a blaster shot is heard. Back on the communicator, the Mandalorian says, Okay, now what? It would be more realistic if the commander just shot them both. Ha! <laughs> too funny. <laughs> Good one! Yes, I suppose that wasn't too bad. All right then, my friend. You've done as you were asked. Perhaps we will meet again. Okay, one moment I'm the Dark Lord of the Sith, and another moment I'm entertaining Sith students by telling jokes. Okay, that's enough for this episode, so thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed some more Knights of the Old Republic. S just keep quiet, Juhani. Just stop moving for a minute. Okay, and I'll see you guys next time.